Hey YouTube, here's my video on my uh, sled that I made uh, for my snowmobile, or sleigh. Uh, I'm going to be using it to haul it into uh, the cottage, uh, just bringing equipment and stuff. So, uh, two by six cedar rails, or cedar skis I made. Uh, one by twelve pine for the sides. Uh, just made a quick little frame in the front. And uh, in the back, sorry, in the back I made this piece removable. Um, just in case, sorry, I can't do it with one hand, but just in case I want to haul longer logs or something like that uh, on here. Some handles if you want to ride in the back as another passenger. And uh, in here I have a plastic bin. This is uh, fitted to my plastic bin uh, that goes in there for equipment. And uh, I just simply uh, uh, have a, a second wedge there. So on to the harder part was the, uh, the actual trailer hitch. Um, I went ahead and uh, welded it up myself. It's a... Uh, a sorry 30 inch uh, span there for the a-frame uh, that's a piece of angle iron or actually old bed frame uh, inch and a half square tubing in there um, and this was uh, uh, some two inch angle iron with some flat bar welded to complete it as a C channel bolted in there uh, resupported with the inch and a half like I said and uh, yeah just cut it and bent it so we came up in the middle this is four inches wide. That's the inch and a half square tubing again. And onto our hinge portion, or hitch portion, I should say. Um, my weak link, I think, is this quarter inch bolt going through here to hold this all together. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, my washer, I uh, found a spring at the hardware store. A uh, piece of tubing. I'm not sure the diameter of this uh, um, solid bar, but uh, somewhere around three quarters of an inch. Um, and then, uh, yeah, some heavy weld uh, tubing here, uh, just welded in both points. Uh, and then onto a washer, an old caster, a rubber caster that I drilled out to fit, and another washer, and then another possible weak link of that quarter inch bolt. And so, uh, yeah, and then the, the same piece of stock continues on. It's all one piece, uh, solid bar. And then uh, I'm into my hinge. So uh, I ended up doing uh, my own hinge. This uh, piece of C-channel was here. Um, that bolt and that bolt just go right through and pinch the C-channel. This actually goes through the bar uh, for the snowmobile and so does the other one. And then uh, I made up my own hinge with some uh, um, solid uh, bar and some round tubing, somewhere around half inch and uh, some uh, two inch wide flat bar uh, to kind of run down. And Kind of weird part of my hinge. I'm an idiot and I used a piece of two inch C-channel uh, flat bar again to uh, complete the hinge Which was originally going to be here. I drilled both my holes and I'm dumb and welded the uh, bar right on through where my hole goes, so I had to uh, adapt uh, added another piece of flat bar on there and uh, Welded it over and now I got you know kind of a more in-depth hinge than what I really need I could probably run it down there as well if I wanted to so another possible weak link that I think I have is uh I'm only going to use like that pin, you can't see it very well, but I'm using one of those pins um, through there and I don't know if that's going to be enough and we're going to find out. So um, that's my uh, that's my overall uh, setup. Um, hopefully it lasts. Uh, if I have any uh, improvements or I have to make any improvements, I'll do another video. Otherwise, feel free to comment, but I was, you can uh, safely assume that uh, everything is still functioning uh, as time goes on. Thank you very much.